Hey everyone, just wanted to give a quick update video on the future of the Simulation Cup series after the 2004 season concludes. Um, I hope you enjoyed the duels in the 500. I hope they were good races. I don't know. Uh, this is being recorded the Friday night before uh, the duels in the 500, so I have no clue how the races are, who made it, but uh, I hope they were good. I hope everyone enjoyed them. Um, but just to get down to what this is about, um, the Simulation Cup Series, after the 2004 season concludes, will be going on a hiatus. Now, whether that hiatus is temporary or permanent uh, is yet to be decided, and it will be decided after some other things come into play. Um, reasoning for this, um, back early January, I just really had a... Uh, I, I had a a thought of a series kind of based around, loosely based around some other series, you know, kind of combining stuff from one series and another series and, you know, my series and my old series and just wanting it to make something that I find more enjoyable, but that could also be more fun for the people in the series and watching the races, stuff like that. Um, the Simulation Cup series started out as a successor to the Gatorade Cup series. I wanted to move on from the GCS. I had found it getting a little bit more stale for me. And uh, obviously after 14 seasons doing the same type of racing, I wanted something different. I wanted the Simulation Cup series to be something where people could be team owners. They had control over their teams, stuff like that. Um, and it worked out well. You know, it, it, it kind of, it was made for what it was. And I feel like at the beginning, it was a pretty good successor. And I feel like, in terms of the Simulation Cup Series, I've had some of the best seasons I've ever had in terms of NR. I think, you know, 2000 and 2002 had probably the best championship battles that I've ever had of doing any season ever in NR. And I think 2003 was probably the best I've ever gotten track ionized overall consistently for an entire season. However, I feel like... Uh, it's just the, the Simulation Cup Series has been outgrown. There's a lot of people that want to sign up. Uh, there's cars that are being added. Uh, we're sending home this season for every race eight people per race. And I just don't feel like that's all that great. I don't really like doing that. I want, you know, the people who sign up to know they're going to be, you know, signing up to watch every single race and know that they have a car or they're driving, driving, their AI is driving in every single race. I don't like sending people home. That's just what the series had to turn to, though, uh, to get you know the amount of people that wanted to sign up to get them to sign up. Um, so what I want to do is something that is more of a successor to the Gatorade Cup Series, right? As I mentioned, the Simulation Cup Series started out like that. But as of late, as of the last few seasons, there's had to be more rules that have been brought in. There's been stuff like that. It's been a lot of work for me to do. Um, and I feel like it's straight away from the funness of the Gatorade Cup Series. It's became its own thing, which isn't bad in its own right. People still enjoy it. However, I felt myself enjoying it a little bit less and less, depending on you know what season it was or what was happening throughout the course of a season. Now, I'm I, obviously, I know some people won't like to hear that. I know there's people that have enjoyed the Simulation Cup series and people have done great things for it. Like stats have made it fun to go through and uh, puts, you know, when I do the driver things at the beginning, there are sometimes I go into stat pages and I look to see what stats can I find to, uh, to, to kind of make a storyline out of a driver pre-race. Uh, I even now have someone giving me stats race by race, telling me, you know, certain driver stats. Maybe a driver's approaching a milestone, they'll put the stats in. Maybe someone's, you know, maybe a manufacturer's approaching something, a team is approaching something. Maybe there's a certain, uh, you know, stat in terms of the track. I'm getting all these stats from this person that is graciously doing it for me. And I think that, you know, it, it makes the series better. It makes it more fun. Uh, however, it's just there's so much to focus on. There's so much to do. I have to run the calendar. I have to make the calendar. I have to, you know, people have to put in announcements. I have to make sure they get the, the role to get the announcement. People are making paint schemes. They have to get their sponsors approved through me beforehand. So I need to try and do that as quick as possible so that people can get paint schemes out. If something doesn't get approved and I still get sent a paint scheme, I have to wait for someone to ask. And I'm not just going to, you know, go to people and be like, hey, you need this approved. 
people need to read the rules, but there's so many rules that I've had to put into place. It's just, it's kind of been a whole mess. And then ratings on top of that, it's been a whole mess. What I want to do is something, as I mentioned, more of a successor to the Gatorade Cup Series. Not necessarily in terms of just make it the Gatorade Cup Series, make it an evolution, make it a fusion between the funness and the uniqueness and the entertainment of the Gatorade Cup Series and you know, kind of fuse that with the uh, kind of technical part of the Simulation Cup Series and more so the racing, the I&I &I racing that I've done with the uh, Simulation Cup Series. And what this new series would have me do is uh, basically I can use whatever track version I want. I can use whatever track I want. It's not going to be necessarily realistic, so I can use custom tracks. I can use tracks that are, you know, maybe I'll use a track that's based off of 2017 version one time, and then the next race use something based off 2012 the next time because I just find that that racing is better than the other. That's just how I kind of want to run it and make it a lot easier to do. And then it would make the racing, I think, better over the seasons. Because then if you're working with just one track uh, throughout the entire season, you start to learn that I-9, you learn what you can do, what you can't, how to push it, how you can't. And uh, that just makes it more fun, in my opinion. So what I want to do is something like a complete custom series. Something uh, where team owners, right, teams sign up uh, for to make their own team, own team name, whatever, their own car numbers, their own sponsors. Each car gets one uh, paint scheme for the whole season. We run that out. You know, team owners get to pick their drivers, uh, and then throughout the season, we do ratings, right? I know ratings series are a, a big thing, um, and I feel like when you look at rating series, it does reward the people who care the most and who are involved in the series the most. Uh, would the ratings be weekly? I don't know. You know, sometimes stuff comes up in life. People need to get off, you know, social media or, or Discord for a week or two. So would I want to do it every week? I don't know. Maybe have it every other week. Maybe have it once a month and people just fill out one big ratings form for the month. And then that's it. And then, you know, you, you get the... You get the ratings filled by that. There's still a lot that would have to be determined by that, but there's a lot of time for that to be determined as well. So that's just – I wanted to give an update on that, and I wanted to do this. I, I, I kind of wanted to, to wait a little bit to announce this, but I wanted to announce it before people decide to start trying to make moves for Simulation Cup Series 2005 because 2005 might not happen at all, and if it does happen, it's a long time down the road. So uh, I don't want people going in being like, oh, I need to make this paint scheme, or I need to sign this driver, or I need to you know make this announcement with my team. You don't really have to. Uh, you're going to have time, and you might not have to do it at all. But uh, – I just wanted to get this out of the way. I wanted to wait until after the 500 and the duels so I didn't maybe ruin the hype for the season. But, uh, yeah, there's still a whole season of SDS ahead of us that we can enjoy and hopefully make it a good one. And then we move on to the new thing, and hopefully it's even better than what has come before in terms of the Gatorade Cup Series and the Simulation Cup Series. So I think I've gotten everything I need out of the way. Uh, there will be a survey in the Discord at some point in the near future just asking people what they want to see with the series. And... Uh, you know, just kind of what uh, user feedback they want uh, for the series. So that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, hopefully everything's good, and I think in just a few days' time, you'll probably be getting the uh, Auto Club 500 at California. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. See you guys for the next races.